Welcome to the Builder Knowledge Channel. In this video we'll be covering wall flashing, as well as other flashing, for the exterior finishes. Let's get started. Flashing is installed at the junction of material changes, chimneys, and roof and wall intersections. It is also used over exposed doors and windows, over roof ridges and valleys, along the edge of a pitched roof, and any other place where rain or melted snow may penetrate. You want to be sure that you are using the same fasteners as the metal before, as in you wouldn't use copper fasteners for steel, etc. For corrosion prevention purposes, you will use only aluminum or stainless steel nails, screws, hangers and clips for aluminum flashing. Use only copper nails and fittings for copper flashing. And use only galvanized or stainless steel fasteners for galvanized sheet metal flashing. Determine the flashing needed for top of the walls at the soffit. Determine the flashing at window and door openings. To protect walls behind the windowsill in a brick veneer exterior, you need to add to your material estimate to extend the flashing under the masonry sill up the underside of the wood sill. When measuring or estimating for flashing material, be sure to allow for overlapping of material as identified in prints or specifications. It may be a 6-inch or 12-inch overlap, and you need to account for that. You will need to determine the length of the drip cap. Ensure the proper type and quantity of fastener materials are estimated for each type of flashing material used. Then obtain your linear feet total. Remember any time you have two different materials, or same material but changes from vertical to horizontal, you need some type of flashing. Knowledge Check Drip Cap Estimation If your house is 16 by 32 feet, with a hip roof, and you have an 18-inch projection, how much linear feet of drip cap is required, if you have a 6-inch overlap, and your drip cap comes in 16-foot length pieces? Let me help you out. Remember the house is 16 by 32, but your projection is 18 inches more on each side. You must add 3 feet to the length and width. 18 inches equals 1.5 feet each side. 2 sides equals 3 feet. So, you will have to cover 19 feet wide and 35 feet long. At each side, 19 plus, 19 plus, 35 plus, 35 is equal to 108 linear feet, divided by the length of drip cap, 16 feet. Gives you 6.75 sticks of 16 foot drip cap. We know by the number 6.75, round up, we will need 7 points of overlap of 6 inches. 7 times 6 is equal to 42 inches, we also know we have 4 feet left over in the 7th stick of 48 inches. So you will be able to cover your house with 7 sticks of drip cap. We hope you enjoyed this refresher on flashing. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the like button. This lets us know you want us to continue with the videos and also so you won't miss the next one. Have a great day. The builder symbol is our subscribe button on the end page and thank you again.